Immortals, I'm Dark Lord Kaiser. We're back with Talos Principle. So, I've got a few things I need to do, don't I? So you're having a beep boop at me. I've got two flashing things up at the top, and I legitimately can't remember where I got to last time. So, uh, we will leave you for the moment, because I'm going to go get this shiny thing, because they talk at me instead of... There we are. On the first night, when I knew it was over, I went out to look at the stars, and I thought... Somewhere up there are the stations we built, and the probes we sent out. Voyager 1 and stars. 2, beyond the edge of our solar system, continuing their long journey through interstellar space. Like memories of our ambition. Ambassadors who have outlived their homeland. And then I thought, if they still exist, are we really gone? If machines are an extension of the human body, then so long as they continue to function, we're still here. Um, there is a sort of logic to that, but unfortunately, no. No, part of humanity is about the continuation of growth and development, which we can't do if we're dead. What say thee? No way out, no way out, no way out. Sure there is. It's not the Tower of Death. I thought you figured that out by now. I can't go out that way. That's a different kind of angry death. I keep forgetting which button the uh, sprint button is, which is why I keep jumping randomly, in case you were wondering. So, a pyramid, what say thee? How do you solve a problem that extends beyond your own lifespan? That question may be the essence of civilization. The only answer I can find is to initiate a process to create an environment in which the solution will occur independently of yourself. But that requires a difficult sacrifice. Letting go of your desire to bear witness, to exist at the center of the cosmos. To participate in the project of civilization is to accept death. Oh, Alex, you're such a fun person. Yeah, you're right old barrel laughs, aren't you? Hey, a paint bucket. We'll take the paint, and we will paint a message. Uh, that one, I guess. Do, do, do. Stay true to your path, for wondrous powers are granted to those who progress the furthest. Yeah, it's called The Way Out. Okie dokie. I can't remember if I read all the QR codes last time. Again, it's it's been a while since I played, and I know I was making a long episode, so I kind of skipped through a bunch of stuff. So let's have a quick gander at what these say. Questions. Suppose for arguments... Suppose for sake of argument that this is all without purpose, the universe is a machine switched on and abandoned long ago. How would I explain what I see? Perhaps you are asking the wrong question. Perhaps you would have no hope of explaining it? Maybe not on my own. Ahem. Depends if the machine is iterative and what problem it was built to solve. But trying to outsmart the guy in the archive, the answer is none of the above. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah, definitely didn't read that last time. Alright, Captain Beep Boop, shut up, we is. Oh! It is actually at Captain Beep Boop. Oh, you came back to keep me company? Okay then, humor me with a little hypothetical. Imagine that a few hours from now you climb to the top of that tower. There's a flash of light, then magic happens, and you find yourself in the real world, living whatever you take to be a normal life there. What would you do then? Well, either what's best for me or what's right. What's right, I guess. No great surprises there, but let's make things a little clearer. So tell me, this obligation you feel, is it only applicable to the real world that is apply here as well? Moral laws only apply under special conditions. Moral laws are universal. Ooh, that's interesting because Either we're saying that um, morality is subjective, or we're saying that mor morality is absolute, and morals vary from culture to culture, so I'm going to go with universal, just because. What a magnanimous dictator you would make. I would make the best of the dictators. I'm Dark Lord Kaiser. Of course, I'm sure it would take a dictator to enforce a single moral code on the entire universe. But come on then, what's your magic formula of choice? Is it still some romantic notion about happiness? The more equal everyone share, the better. The more goodness in the world, the better. Consequences don't matter, our reasons do. I see no way to explain what I believe. Well, okay, let's break all of these down, shall we? The more equal share, everyone share, the better. Uh, no, unfortunately, because that would um, reward those who work in 
It, w it wouldn't reward people who work in stressful environments as much, um, but I'm explaining this badly. Essentially, if you had two people, one of which who worked harder than the other, but you reward them both equally, that is unjust. And if you have two people who both work equally hard, but the consequences of the actions of one of them is more severe than the consequences of the action of the other ones, that is unjust. For example, um, a doctor and a dustbin man have very different jobs. They can both work equally hard, but if a dustbin man doesn't do his job properly, then a bin doesn't get emptied, and if a doctor doesn't do his job properly, people die. So th that's why there's a disparity between their pays, for example. So, um, yeah, um, not that one, basically. I mean, I, obviously I'm oversimplifying to the point of absurdity to a, some degree, but, you know, the more goodness in the world, the better. Okay, that's an easy one, but to find goodness, I suppose. Consequences don't matter, our reasons do. Well, unfortunately, doing the wrong thing for the right reason still doing the wrong thing. Um, so, I'm going to go with the more goodness in the world, the better. Just, it seems the least problematic as those. Ah, that old Chester. So, what is this goodness you're seeking to maximise? Happiness, liberty, equality, wealth, basic goods like food and healthcare, all of the above. I'm not in a position to solve these problems. To be fair, my character is, what, hours? Days old, maybe, at the most? I think asking him to solve the world problems is a lot. Um, well, okay. Happiness would be the easy one, but again, what if one person's happiness comes at the expense of another's? How do you balance those out? Um, so one example would be the, um, what's it called? The utility monster, uh, in which, um, if you were trying to maximise happiness, uh, but you have one hypothetical creature, uh, with which, um, any good you give it, it feels infinitely more happiness than if you gave it to anybody else. So, for example, if you had a slice of cake, and you have the choice of either giving it to, um, this is more sort of a, um, what's it called? Utilitarian um, counter-argument than, than a general one, I suppose. Um, but the idea is, if you had a slice of cake, you could give it to uh, a regular person, and they would fill happiness unit of 1, or you'd give it to this utility monster who'd give, have a happiness unit of 10. He's going to enjoy the cake 10 times more than the other person. Then, to maximise happiness, basically everything you have, you have to give to this one monster because he will appreciate it ten times more than the rest of the world combined, kind of thing. So, it, it's got all good. Liberty, well, you know, liberty is one of those things where some person's liberty could infringe on the other person's liberty. So, um, you know, I, if I had the... If I was given the liberty to kill whoever I wanted, I'm infringing on the other person's liberty to live, basically. Again, this is, uh, all these examples are going to be over the top, but you have to look at the extremes to get the, uh, the middle ground, as it were. Equality, we've sort of covered that one. Wealth, don't be so ridiculous. Basic goods like food and healthcare. Um, Maximise goodness to make sure everyone's fed and healthy. Uh, I mean, there's a bit more to life than that, but, you know, you can have... Make sure everyone's uh, fed and has an NHS, but if they're all depressed and want to kill themselves, you haven't really got much goodness there, have you? All of the above. Yeah, well, that's just a cop-out answer. <laughs> Almost even more so than that one. At least that one's admitting, uh, you know, your own limitations. That one's just, yeah, everything. Everyone can have everything all the time. It's great. I'm going to go with happiness, just because. Is it classic? I'll give you that. Suppose you climb to that tower, step into the utilitarian paradise. As I said, utilitarianism. Unfortunately, your presence there offends a number of Puritans to such a degree that the total amount of happiness in the world would go up if you were killed off, and so justice demands your head. That sounds so idyllic. I meant that happiness should be equalised, not maximised. Well, that's an interesting one, but everyone being equally depressed and everyone being equally happy would be the same in that regard, which isn't so. No amount of happiness outweighs a life. Well, one could argue that, but then again, when you end up in situations with... Um, well... The obvious example would be with someone like Hitler or Stalin or whatever, and you end up in a situation where we're going, well, if we don't kill this person, we're going to make an entire planet suffer as a result. Um, but if we do kill the person, then we're counteracting our argument there. 
It's as good as we'll get. No, I've had so much time. I meant the happen should be equalised, not maximised. Well, let's go with the sanctity of life argument. Because why the hell not? So, implication: you must also believe that it, we should all have as many children as possible. Since even that is not the argument I was making at all. Since even the knock-on effects of overpopulation is terrible, the happiness gain overall will be much greater owing to all these extra invaluable lives. Yeah, there's a difference between not creating a life and ending a life, which is not the thing I was arguing in the slightest. You pedant, I guess, is the best. You should be incredibly pedantic. But obviously, there is some other kind of good that matters. Okay, so I can go back and start arguing other types of good. Uh, twist your, my words all you like, I will stand by them. Yeah, I'll stand by that. Why not? You know, there are shed loads of broken theories less ridiculous than the one you're chewing through. How about I give you a little bit of s how about I give you a bit of space to consider them? Sorry, I was just taking a moment there to uh, reread what he was saying. So in other words, he's saying that my argument that we should try and make people happy is ridiculous, and there are less problems than that. I don't know. It uh, seems like a bit of a so some of these things, they end and you actually have something to think about, and here it's just, oh, clearly you're being foolish, and he just walks away, which uh, isn't quite right. Anyway, oh, <laughs> he's back already. Oh, if the real world turns out to be everything you've imagined, do me a favour and leave me here. Well, I'm pretty sure I can't take you with me, so, okay. All right, let's read these chat logs then. So I, th so I think, what's the point, right? Yeah, I keep thinking about my aunt. Have I told you about her? I don't think so. She's super rich, like she drives around in ridiculously expensive sports car, she goes on vacation to the Bahamas. She has a huge house that feels more like some sort of corporate HQ than a home. She worked really hard to get all that, but she also screwed over a lot of people, including her own family. I used to be quite angry at her for what she did to my parents, but now I think, what did she get out of it? She and her husband are always fighting, and her son became so obsessed with money that he ruined his own family. I mean, yeah, they have everything they always dreamed about, but they can't enjoy any of it. My grandfather was like that. And now, at the end, what does any of it mean? If you have all the money in the world and you die alone and unloved, what did you accomplish? I don't get it. I just don't. Money can be used for goods and services. Norwegian Blue. Hi folks, I'm sorry to say that a few hours ago I experienced the first symptom. I'm going to work until the end of the week to make sure EL is in perfect condition. But after that, I'll be going back home. I'll remain reachable via email and phone for as long as, I, as, long as possible. But I'm confident Satoko can deal with anything that comes up. If you want to do a huge favour, spare me the drama, okay? I love you all, but I don't have the strength for sad smiles and hugs. The best remedy for sorrow is to get the job done. And now for something completely different. Oh, and he attacks the dead parrot sketch. I knew I'd heard the, the words Norwegian blue somewhere. It's, the, it's, it's, it's Monty Python. He's good. Look it up, it's awesome. Well, if you're gonna go out, go out laughing, I suppose. And Cyrus, another one that won't make a huge amount of sense, I imagine. So, hearing the call of the morning birds as they greeted the door, and the scribe spoke. At the end of your journey, when every trial has been completed, when all the gates have opened before you, and your soul has been weighed in the Tower of Anubis, your car and bar shall be reunited, and thus you shall become an Ankh. Ankh? Ankh? Akan? Akhaga. You shall become a word and awaken in the eternal reed fields of Osiris, and there, in holy Auru, you shall begin a new life amongst the gods and other blessed spirits. And who will I be? the dying man asked. You shall be the memory of all that was, and the knowledge of the journey, and the shape of the days to come. Thus ends the tale of the dying man and the scribe. Praise be Osiris, the foremost of the westerners, the king of eternity, the lord of everlastingness, whose car is holy error. Well, that was a thing. Do I actually have anything more to do in this area? No, I've, I've cleaned this area out, haven't I? And I believe I've sorted all of the things in the Egyptian areas in total now. With the exception of the um, secret stars and, and stuff. But I'm not too fussed about those for now. So I'm again just doing a bit of freezing for a moment there. Alrighty, what do you say? I found just one voice of reason in the computer archive of all places, and it seems we have become close friends. Do not befriend the serpent, for it will penetrate your breast and sow its seed of doubt. There is no hope, always boxed in, walls everywhere, 
Even when there seems to be freedom, it is false, invisible walls, no way out. Who invited this guy? Okay. Well, that's enough time wasted in this random box of nothing. Let's move on to the next random box of stuff and things. The land of tombs is yours now. Cheers! And let this be a lesson that only through faith may death be conquered. Well, you say that, but I've conquered this land of death, as you call it, not by faith, but by logic puzzles. And now I own it, I've got bugger all to do here. Well, except, as I said, the secret stars, but Sodom. Moving on up. So, I don't think I'm going to go to the Tower of Death just yet. I think I'll save that for the next episode. I mean, I spent 15 minutes in this episode and I have achieved literally nothing. So I've got into philosophical arguments with the computer. So, let's go sort that yellow flashing thing at the top of the screen. And then we shall do some puzzles in the cathedral area. Area C... Uh, I think I reached the limits of what I could do in the uh, yeah in this area anyway because I hadn't completed the flashing yellow bit. Okie dokie, let's uh, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. I'm not getting impatient. Shut up. This seems to be taking longer than usual. There we go. Right in. Let's. Uh, da, 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 where is it? Where is it? I think it's around this. Where is it? Around one of these corners. Okie dokie, let's get the skateboard of destiny. Do 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 or eight. Or twenty. Do 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 I don't have a clue what I'm bloody doing. Nope, that's not gonna work either. Nope. This is why I hate these puzzles, because there's bugger all that you can do, so I can just trial and error the little buggers. God damn it. Oh, thank Christ. There we bloody go. Okay. Right. Note to self, edit that for fuck else. Wait a minute. That's not a skateboard of destiny. You have come far in your journey and learned much. Well, I'm not sure about that second bit. Our cause with the truest faith. Okay. Therefore, I name you blessed and beloved. Hey, I finally have a name. Wheel Neat. The instruments of our power to fulfill your purpose and achieve eternal life. Okay. So I can now wield all of the yellow things, I'm guessing. Or I can wield an axe. Right, I should actually, you know, do stuff and things. Where do I actually get to in here? Right, level 1 all done. Level 2... I needed the Skateboard of Destiny for all of them. Neat! Right, let's... Uh, let's do some sodding puzzles, shall we? Oh, not you again. What do you want? Did I read all these? I'm sure I read all these. Family, for those who have faithfully followed this blog for the last five years, I wanted to give you one final update. I'm going to spend the remaining time with my family. Yeah, I know, I know, there are probably 50 plus posts about all the problems I've had with them, but in the end, they are my family. The only people, they are the people I grew up with, the people I care about, the people I love. Sure, they annoy the hell out of me, they said awful things to me, but, and I've said awful things to them. It doesn't change who we are. In fact, if we didn't care about each other, this stuff wouldn't upset us. That's a fair point. Do I still think they were wrong? Yeah, absolutely. Would I behave differently if I thought we all still had a lot of time? Definitely. 
But we don't, so I'd rather spend a couple of weeks sitting on the porch with my parents and my sisters being angry and alone. Or than being angry and alone. <laughs> Besides, it's not like we're going to fight any more about my job prospects. I got that sentence mixed up, but I got the same message across the boat. If you can, try to make peace with those you love. It's your last chance, thanks for reading. Last days, Emil. You know what the oddest thing about all is about all this? We're not constantly fighting, having nervous breakdowns, screaming at each other. We're actually really polite and focused. We spend most of our time debating the nature of humanity and how we can best succeed at probably the most ambitious thing anyone's ever tried. Like it was completely normal, or that's just how people are. I feel like we've turned into Star Trek characters or something. I guess, what's the point of doing anything else? Getting angry isn't going to help, but I didn't expect to feel like this at all. You know what? It's so awesome. Many greetings and good luck from Alan. P.S. Love from George. So yeah, that's the point. People tend to get... Um, the five stages of grief um, are... Uh, denial, anger, bargaining, depression and acceptance. So once you're told, yeah, we are all going to die and there's literally nothing we can do to stop it, after a certain point, people just sort of go, yeah, yeah, I guess we're all going to die now. And just sort of get on with it. Particularly if they've got something to actually focus on. So, you know, here's a task. If we do this, yeah, we'll all be dead still. What are you... Are you pointing at something? No. Um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, people say, yeah, we'll all be dead still, but at least we can achieve something before we all be a dead. Right. A ditch and a fence. Oh, this has got all four of the little doodars in it. Great. Uh, okay. Why is there a purple gate here and a purple gate there? Oh, okay. So I've got to find a way round with something. Because reasons, I guess. Okay, I have a box. So that's where I need to get to, which means I need a laser. Oh. Well... Here's the stairs, I guess. Wow, this just... This gives you nothing to work with. We'll get a gargoyle. Okay. Well, that's a secret star. That's not much help. I mean... I, why can I not get through this window? I've got through windows before. Ah, whatever. Okay, so... I have a box. Let's see. I can't get out through there. So put the box in the ditch. The connector I can put on top of the box. Hold on a sodding minute. Oh, I've got a platform. Oh. Platforms could be used to... Oh, I didn't see what it said. Platforms can be used to have... To Platforms can be used to have something carried on it. Okay. Oh. I'm going to have to experiment with this, because I don't know what it's talking about. I've been so long since i played this that... Uh, so I've got the Skateboard of Destiny, I can go down here with it. So something could be stood on me, that would... Long. Um... Okay, that's... So, there's past me. I can stand on the box. Can I see anything from up here that I couldn't see before? Oh. I saw something saying jump here, but it was just jump firm. So... Ha! Huh. Okay. Interesting. Uh, 
I mean... Okay, I have an idea. I don't think it'll work, but I'll try it anyway. So I go down here, wait... Okay, that should be enough time. And I'll stand here and hope for the best. I suspect this won't work. What I'm planning to do is... Well, actually, that should be enough time. Let's show you what I'm planning to do. My plan is... Past me goes down here. I put the box on his head. I take the connector. I connect the two things together and put it on top of his head. So now when he moves up, he doesn't quite reach still. Ah! But if he was to then jump onto another box, he'd be higher. Okay, I think I've got the gist of it. So, let's just uh, reset that. Okay. So if I start the recording, take the platform, walk down here, give myself, what, five seconds, ten seconds to put everything on top of my head? Okay, hopefully that's enough time. And now if I do it to jump on top of here, I've then gained that little extra height which hopefully will then get me over the top of the fence. Because I'll have a box on top of my head, laser on top of that, that combination hopefully will be high enough. Hopefully. We'll see. We'll see, won't we? Okay, let's hope that's enough. Okie dokie. Box. On the head. Laser. Laser. On the top of the head. Right. So, I walk up there, I jump up onto there in the past. Yeah! Victory for the Dark Lord. So how the hell am I supposed to get this little bugger? But be wary of temptation. Okay. You know what, I don't care about figuring out how to get that secret star right now. I'm gonna go do stuff and things. Here are things. The short wall. Okay. So I've got a past maker. A QR code. What does it matter that I scribble my contempt on these walls if I'm still surrounded by them? Ah, oh, don't be like that dog. And don't be like that water tank dribbling away in the background, you little bugger. Why do all these angels keep pointing at the rocks? Ain't no one buried there. We's a robot. And this is a virtual reality world. It is now here. Okay, so I have a past maker. Oh, there's the other thing. Okay, yeah, yeah, I think I'll think get this one. Take the platform. Stand here. Give past me a moment to get on top of my head. We turn. Okay. So I have to walk over here. Let past me jump on top of the wall. Because if I'd walked straight through here, I would have knocked past me off the top. So I come back over here. Past me climbs back on top of my head. I walk over here. Pass me jumps on the wall, jumps down, does his own thing. I keep saying past me, I mean future me. I am currently future me. And that is past me who is approaching us with the thing. Okay, and now we wait. While well, past me figures out that I'm still on top of his head. There we are. I take a few steps towards that, realise the problem. And move over here. 
jump. Okay, past me, you can go do the thing now. There you go. Over here. Okay, come here. Good, past me. Now, take me to the wall. I love it when they're straightforward. Oh, and is there anything else to do up here? Nothing I can be see I can see or can be bothered to work out. Right. So I should just leave one more in this area. Let's see if we can do that, and we'll call it a day at that. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair. There's still nothing here. Stop pointing at it. Okay, so robots don't have hair. There's a ladder though. Okay, so I need a box and another box and probably more boxes. Right, let's uh, have a gander shop. Wait, use? What? I just said use, right? What did I just use? What did I just do? What did I just do? Um. Okay, comments. Enlighten me. The hell did I just do? Because I saw the bot something that said use. I'd, I'd used it, but I don't. I don't. I don't know what I did. Well, that's a past maker. Well, so far the only solutions need to be come over here, take the box, put the box there, take the other box, check the thing around the back. Well, nothing I can see. It doesn't mean a huge amount, but. I'm still bothered by that uh, use button. I don't know what I did. Which is always a cause for some concern. Okay, what have we over here aside from the... Interesting. So I have... Okay, so... I need to get the boxes up the ladder, which I can't just carry them up the ladder, so I need past me to carry them. Okay, this is going to be a silly question. Can I? If I put something on the platform. Okay. So... Hmm. Well, I guess the only thing to do is to... Over here, stand here. Pass me can then pick up the two boxes and put them on top of my um, platform. Because I'm in the past maker, these two boxes should they then stay in place. Moving over here, I guess, would be the next log logical step. And hopefully, future me can pick them up off the top of my head. In fact, I only need to get one box up there, don't I? Because then I can use past me to duplicate the boxes. Let's find out. That's on top of there. Yeah, let's stand on top of this for a second. So 
take this box, put it there, and then the... Past me... Yeah, past me, then... Uh, okay, no, no, what am I on about? Past me. Gonna need that. So I would put it over there, which would have then blocked this off entirely. So I made that just in time. Right, so now if I go past me... I don't need to record. I don't need to record that much, do I? I can just go up here. Do, 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 do. So I pick that up. Past me will then leave the ghost box there, which means I can put it over there. Well, actually, I could just stand here. There's the other option, isn't it? I'm overcomplicating this, aren't I? Or didn't I? Neat. Okay, that should be enough time. Boy. Oops. Climb the bloody ladder. Jesus, worse than Half-Life sometimes. What did I use? What did I use? And I'm down here now. Right, whatevs. I'll have a look through the playback, see if I can figure it out, but uh, I'm probably going to be reliant on uh, our friendly commenters to tell me, because I honestly have no earthly idea. Come on, stand there past me, there we go, got it. Right, moving on. Can I jump on it? No. Well, okay, whatever, there we are. There we are done. You're not beep booping at me. Tan fantastic. Okay, so there we are. Another area completed. And only a handful of minutes wasted trying to get the uh, Skateboard of Destiny to sort out. Okay, so yes, I, uh, I'm i going to be very reliant on the comments telling me what I did when I used that gargoyle. It might be part of a greater secret or an easter egg that I haven't figured out. So, yes, please let me know. Okay, that's enough of your time wasted. Thanks for watching. Bye!